to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing in them to die, to sleep uh, no more, and by a sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. <laughs> to die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come? <laughs> We have shuffled off this mortal coil. <laughs> Must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? <laughs> the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely. <laughs> the pains of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office and the spurns <laughs> that patient merit of the unworthy takes. <laughs> when he himself might his quietest make with a bare bonkin who would for Dell's bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death. <laughs> the undiscovered country whose born no traveler returns puzzle the will and make us rather bear those ills we have <laughs> and fly to others that we know not of. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution is sickled o'er with the pale cast of thought and enterprises of great pit and moment. <laughs> with this regard, their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. <laughs> <laughs>